Hi, I'm John Woodbeck, and I am one of the partners at Woodbeck Cisneros McElroy. And today I want to talk to you about the civil discovery process. This is a very important part of litigation, whether it's family law, divorce, uh, any domestic relations case, civil litigation, you're going to go through discovery if you're in litigation. So let's talk about the process in Virginia. The first thing that people usually do in discovery is they issue what are called interrogatories and requests for production of documents. Interrogatories are basically questions that are asked of you under oath that you have to answer. And usually there's no more than 30 of them. That's the maximum allowed unless the court gives you permission for more. So those questions come in and they're, and they're supposed to be thoroughly answered and you usually have 21 days to answer those questions or 28 days if they're served on you with the original lawsuit that, that's filed against you or you file. Uh, requests for production of documents are also usually the initial discovery you get. And those are just requests for the production of documents and tangible things. Uh, it can be electronically stored information, could be actual paper documents, could be uh, things that you have in your possession, things that, that could be like actual items uh, that you have that are relevant to your case. And interrogatories or requests for production both have the 21 day uh, deadline to respond unless they're served with the original lawsuit, uh, then it's 28 days. And these are very important parts of the discovery process. Most everybody's gonna do them. Uh, but there are other things that people use as well that are, that are important but not generally is, is widely used. One of those is something like a uh, request for admissions. Requests for admissions are uh, questions that come to you that ask you to admit or deny certain things. And they're designed to sort of narrow the issues and get you to admit or deny certain things in order to do that. They're not widely used in domestic relations cases, but in civil litigation, they're very often used. And some, it's a tool that a lot of lawyers do use for discovery. And then of course, what you probably already heard of, which is depositions. Deposition is where you get in a room and the, your opposing party gets in a room and you get questioned by the attorney with a court reporter there for as long as it takes to get all the information out. You can de take depositions of both parties in the case, the plaintiff and the defendant, but you can also take depositions of witnesses. Uh, and those witnesses will be deposed just like you would be if it were you being uh, in a deposition. So very important parts of the discovery process. And the one thing that we try to emphasize to our clients is the discovery process is the most expensive and tedious part of the whole litigation. So the more you fight it, the worse it gets. So we generally try to tell clients, you know, be, be forthcoming, don't play games with it, but definitely don't, you know, just roll over because there are ways you can object to discovery and your, attorneys, your attorney can actually make objections to discovery if it's overly broad or it's not relevant or it's harassing or different, different things like that. Uh, but discovery can become extra expensive if you just fight over having to turn over things that are legitimately requested of you. So we try to emphasize to our clients to not be that way in discovery. We also try to emphasize how uh, a lot of it you can do yourself. A lot of the organization, obtaining the documents, if you make the attorneys do all that and you make the staff do all that, then it's gonna be much harder for you to save costs on discovery. So, but we've, we've gotten it down in our firm to a very stri uh, strict process. We know exactly how it's gonna go. And if you retain our firm and you work with our firm, you're gonna have the advantage of uh, many, many years of, of, of uh, experience doing discovery. And that's gonna help you save money, save time, and ultimately do the best job you can on discovery. So um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us anytime. And you can visit our website at whitbecklegal.com. Follow us on Facebook, uh, follow us on Twitter or LinkedIn, or check out our YouTube channel on YouTube. Take care.